Meet Nanite, Unreal's groundbreaking tech for infinite detail. This video is part of our Unreal Engine full course. Subscribe and check the playlist for more tutorials. Let's explore the revolutionary Nanite technology in this quick lesson without further introduction. Nanite is a revolutionary virtualized geometry technology that allows artists to create highly detailed worlds without worrying about performance or resource limitations. It efficiently handles large numbers of polygons by loading and rendering only visible details. This means you can import high-resolution assets directly into your project without creating multiple levels of detail manually. Nanite enables unprecedented levels of detail and complexity in scenes while maintaining smooth performance, transforming the way we work with 3D assets. Let's explore Nanite's capabilities. Let's find the object that we downloaded recently. This time, I'm going to download this object using Nanite quality. You will immediately notice that it's going to take much longer to download an object than it was before, since it is going to have much more detail and be larger in size as well. After downloading it, let's just add it to the project. As you can see, we have a new static mesh and another material instance. If I hover over two static meshes in the folder, we see their detail. You will immediately notice that one of their disk sizes is nearly 1 megabyte and the other is 81 megabytes. How big of a difference is that? One is much larger than the other. Also, you see that the material instance has an 8K resolution, compared with the 4K it had before. For the sake of this training, I will reset my changes to the material from the previous version so we can compare them better. If I open this static mesh, it doesn't seem any different here. It seems like the old method, the old static mesh that we had. However, if you go to the LODs, you will see no LODs other than one. Also, you will see that Nanite support is activated. So what's happening? Why doesn't it have any LODs and how is it handling optimization? If you go to view mode and select the wireframe, you will see that this mesh has an insane number of polygons compared to what we had in LODs. To compare, let's bring it and put it side by side with the one with LODs. Also, in the outliner, I will turn off the rest of the project, including the helpers. Let's go to the view mode and the wireframe to see the difference. You see, one of them has much more detail than the other one, regardless of our distance from the objects. While the object on the right jumps to a different LODs version, our Nanite version keeps many details. But let's take a look at how it works in the background. If we go to the view mode, then to Nanite visualization and select triangulation, we see that this technology uses some sort of triangulation instead of LODs. Nanite triangulation takes a detailed 3D model and breaks it into small clusters of triangles. These clusters are streamed dynamically based on the camera's position, showing more detail up close and less detail from a distance. This ensures high performance and detail without manual LODs creation. Also, if you want to see the clusters that Nanite uses to make triangulation, you can from Nanite visualization in view mode, you can select clusters. If you want to see which objects are using Nanite or not, you can simply go to Nanite visualization, select the mask and see which objects have Nanite enabled. Let's look at how we can enable Nanite for a mesh. For example, let's activate it for our mesh with LODs. I can simply select the object, go to its details, Find the mesh assigned to that object, right click and activate Nanite there. So essentially if you activate Nanite for an object that has LODs, it is going to use the Lodi version 0, which has the highest amount of detail and use its visualization process. Now, both of them are using Nanite technology and no longer use LODs. Let's go back to the lit mode and from the outliner, turn on the rest of the models. If you go to Nanite masks, you see that these two objects use Nanite, but the rest of the project does not. By the end of the training, everything will be Nanite. Nanite has some limitations at this moment. For example, it does not support translucent materials, so objects like glass or water cannot be used. You will notice that the windows are separated in this object because Nanite does not support translucency. They separated the glass from the rest of the model. Hopefully, in the future, they will figure out how to use Nanite on objects with translucency. There are some other limitations with Nanite as well, but they expand their capabilities with any new release. In our lesson, 
we covered how Nanite manages high-resolution assets without manual LOD creation. Next, we'll discuss modular design and engine optimization for improved performance and project management efficiency.